Okay. So, um, <clears throat> this other book now is The Visual Voice, an exhibition of art, music, and writings by Joan Walsh at the Dublin Writers Museum, 6th of April to the 31st of May 2000. And the same again, it's poetry and songs. I put them together because <clears throat> that was the thing. If you, if you wanted to exhibit it in the Dublin Writers Museum, it had to have writings. And um, the reason why I got in touch with them in 2000 was previously <coughs> cup of tea, cup of tea, eh? Um, uh, probably five years previously, um, I'd been in a group show with the boyfriend, Gwyn Parry, in the Dublin Writers Museum, and it was a collaboration between a poet, Gwyn was the poet, and the artist, and um, people paired up to do it. So um, we put he put in a poem, and I put in a painting. And I think he was hustling me to get it done because I was dragging my feet, but I got it done. And um, in fact, and it was called the Reddest Stolen Cherries. Reddest Stolen Cherries was the exhibition. And we were the only pairing couple that sold. And I believe the painting and the poem went to somebody who lived in Paris. So because that happened, I said, I had all this artwork and I had to fill in time and do something. So I got in touch with the Dublin Writers Museum and I said, would you be open to an exhibition? And they said, yes, once you show um, lyrics or writings with it, which I did do. So... Song, it's a song. Here we go. La La Land, Shirkin Island, County Cork. Meanwhile, back in La La Land, where you can sit outside the front of the house facing east, with my quilt and sleeping bag just drying out, and the sound of the wind around the corner, and green tea, and nothing more to do than that and sit. Sure, what would you be sorting out at all, at all? Only than to worry or think about getting something to eat and look at the colours of the sea. It's a song, song, song. Leonard's Corner versus Black Rock. In the land of fur coats, they wear tight leather cut shoes and large gold earrings. Here they have no normal shops where the lino is worn, where there is always hellos after choosing loose vegetables in old rusting metal baskets, stacks of women's ways, way magazines to read in the warm humid laundry or workmen with newspapers and mobiles sitting astride on wooden benches having their jumbo breakfasts. Here it's ciabatta with olives and feta, ironed and dry cleaned clothes, haircuts that cost money. No metal teapots with crooked lids, only big enough for a tea bag to fit. Here it's large china pots of tea for one pound forty pence and free newspapers in the land of fur coats. Shirkin Island, County Cork. I had to reinvent myself, had to meet myself again on the abandoned beach. She's there below the white horses, the red hair of seaweed in the bay mermaids whispering secrets to each other, passing magic pearls, diamonds of shells. The emeralds of the earth shining behind, my mind's eye among the grass. 
the amethyst of my heart in the desert dust. The horizon below, blue far above the sky's stratosphere, aligning to a point far away I cannot see. Old Aerobi, Hopi Reservation, USA. Island of Dry Rock, looking down to no ocean, no ocean below. The grit, dirt, wind, blowing in the dogs and my eyes, we squint. Small windows blind to look out, silent and empty yards. I said to the smiling woman in the shop, this reminds me of Tory Island, except there is no sea. A place of stones out in the ocean to the north. Here the bank of grey clouds above stretching out, stubborn, unwilling, unable to let go of their water. Stubborn clouds holding fast and the dust blows away from a patch of field, never to come back. I would feel I had to guard it, cover the clay with my body outstretched to stop the wind stealing the precious grains of soil that took so long to form, to stay. To leave behind the cracked rock islands with no seas to surround them, bitter place. No lighthouse to fan out its protective light when night comes. Chips of rocks on their shoulders, labelled in glass cases, the enemy down below always stealing them that are besieged. Bitter place, island of dry rock, looking down to no ocean below. Allies. Barry Peninsula, County Cork. And he's <clears throat> sitting in an armchair, back made of lime and sea urchin -like lichen, slated ribbed rock, seat of thin childhood grasses, the fur of a mammal and yellow dandelion like flowers a bumblebee chooses. I'd seen the top foam combing through the upward needle teeth of blackened rock, the grey sea stretching far for a silver horizon, a call of gull, the open ocean in your eyes, you sail the same deep ocean, and I called in whales from their path. All fields at easel angle, painted in green by the new sun, a bell rock beyond Dursey, and shirken to the right, old fields forgotten, to the tops of the ridge steep, and the sun sending a spotlight circle to the surface of the sea, like a torch beam to see the bottom, the white foam like many fingers combing to the scalp of rocks. Yellow pollen dusted face bumblebee, saffron or orange lichen, I would die with yards of material and mix with the colours of an Indian rainbow. Helicopter around the right head. A metal insect looking for me on the edge of cliffs. I have a sign to say, I'm here to stay. I'm not jumping over. It's a song, song. That's a break. <laughs> He's gone. It's determined. I can't see the. Oh, there it is. The pointer. <laughs>